All right, boys, let's run the patch note rundown. I guess we're sending it. I guess it is it is being sent. Buff Valkyrie, please sit in the dumpster. Okay. All right. Events. Uh, boss blitz rewards. Okay, now it's the Earth R01, guys. So you get extra rewards for doing the Earth R01 boss blitz. Okay, cool. Excellent. Yeah, whatever. Oh, drop rate event, boys. Drop rate event. Another thick ranger on the thumbnail. Somebody. I bet GM Polly is making these, bro. I bet GM Polly's making these. I know it's Lamoria. This is Lamoria. This is for sure. This has got to be Lamoria. Definitely. Now, 100% drop rate all the time, it looks like. Uh, go to town, boys. Go to town. Looks like bears. What is this? That's a horse. They are drawn by the crunchy sound of Hongwa. Okay. You get the Hongwa from gathering, farming, and defeating moles. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. Oh, no thank you. Maybe we gather, though. Okay. Sure, yeah. You defeat the moles. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's this event. Yeah, all right. Whatever. What the... Is, there, is a bear literally just going to crawl out of the ground? Defeat the bears to obtain the following. Bear hide. Woo! We love this event. Wow, they really know how to stimulate those mental juices. They know what we're looking for. Black gem fragments. Okay, there's a dub. And get some more hearts, get some more sharps. Okay, so sharp, um, gathering and farming, boys. Autumn's here. Hot time is on. You betcha. Okay, 500% EXP, 200% skill EXP. So you have 100% drop rate event, 500% EXP, 200% skill EXP. Um, Lothricon outfit screenshot. Or his new outfit? Yo. Blood heirs of the Valor and Dragon Knights of Lothric. Oh, shit. All right, so yeah, you guys got to post your screenshots in the forums again. That's one of these. Uh, you, you pay to win, get the outfit, you get to do the event, and then they give you a a book. Oh, wait, never mind. That's only 10 adventures. Win that. Uh, take a picture of your boobs. And then all adventures uh, who upload a screenshot or receive the reward. So you get a free uh, Patrigio's apparel bag. Okay, so if you buy the outfit, make sure you take a screenshot, put it on the forum so you get a free... Uh, Apparel bag. I have five of those. More. More. We'll look at the outfit here in a minute uh, after we finish the best notes. Uh, class changes. Cooldown of Command to Gather has been decreased from 11 hours to 4 hours. That is a good change. Now we can CTG to all of the no open world PvP that actually exists on the server now. Amazing. Amazing. Realistically, though, now we can CTG to Vel and Garmoth and wherever we want. That's awesome. Okay, Sorceress. Um, for Sorceress Succession, we focused on improving the control of continuous combat experience in PvE gameplay. We addressed the issue where the bound effect was applied when using Break Kick in PvP situations, making it inconvenient to combo it uh, into debuff effects. We also resolved the issue where the evasion rate didn't increase. We also changed commands for the skill Dark Flame to SLMB to avoid unintended activation of skills. Additionally, we improve the combo smoothly into the last attack after the third attack. No one has any idea what you're talking about. And we increase the PvE damage there. We understand that sentence of enhanced skills and improve the combo with enhanced skills of succession. Okay, so you buffed the PvE. Got it. Succession Sork buffs. Okay, fix the issue. All right. Black Wave, improve the combo slightly faster, sure. Claws of Darkness, fix an issue, sure. Decreased magic DP on hit. Okay, so you get Rushing Crow now decreases more DP. That's pretty big for PvP and PvE. Change the bound effect will now only apply to monsters on Hicks. Nerf. Nerf. Change the command to down LMB. Change the cooldown from 12 to 9 seconds, so that's good. 
Uh, improved the combo smoothly. All right, so things are comboing better. All evasion rate minus 9% on last hits. Okay, so that's turn back slash. That's a really good change. That's a really good change. Um, Shadow Hellfire from 16 seconds to 14 seconds. All right. Shadow Wave, 23 to 16 seconds. Uh, Dark Flame, improve the combo smoothly into the school, uh, the skill after the Shadow Hellfire. Okay. Improve the combo more smoothly. All right. All right, where's the... Show me the damage. More combo smoothly stuff. What are we getting here? Eh. Meh. We got an 8% buff. 8, 10% buff. Something like that. Only in PvE. Okay, these Shadow Ignition actually got a lot of damage. That got a lot. like a 50% buff. Or uh, like a 35% buff. More like 10. Okay, yeah. So, like, that's th th like a 10, 15% um, PvE buff. It's actually kind of huge for Sex Orc. Uh, and Nightmare improves uh, pressing WF after the skill, and you never actually had to come out of iframe ever. Awesome. That's cool. All right, Musa. Shaky, did your PayPal get through to them? We carried out some tweaking of Musa's Awakening skill damage, particularly for skills uh, that saw very little usage and weren't included in combos for PvE. To amplify the damage for the blade effect uh, gained after learning Projection 3, we made uh, adjustments to spinners so that Musa can easily perform combos while buffed in increased critical hit rate. Okay. Added information on activating Form 2 of uh, Awakening by comboing from the following skills to the description. All right, yeah, I'm not sure what that means. Change the debuff to stun on three hits to stiffness on a first hit. That's that's pretty good. That's a really good change. Now it's an instant stiffen as opposed to like the delayed stun. Remove the last attack from form one. Improve to combo smoothly. All right, sure. Improve to combo pyro star. Okay. Adjusted the damage. So they just objectively buffed the damage of spinner in PvP and PvE. Okay. They super buffed the shit out of Dash Slash. Musa is up tremendous. Holy shit. It now has critical hit rate 100%. It only got 4% more PV or PvP damage reduction. And look at the, like... Attack damage, 2,507 times 5. This is now extra attack damage. So, I still think that this is a buff. So, yeah, you're missing the extra attack damage now, but I still think this is a buff because now it, the crit. Yeah, the, the little times things, yeah, like, we'll, we'll see how it hits. But, like, I think the crit is going to uh, put it over the top. At least for in PvE, it's a massive buff. In PvP, it's probably still a buff. But we'll see. But we'll see. Yeah, because it lost the extra attack hit. Pyro Storm improved to combo smoothly. Okay, sure. Fix the issue with the Black Spirit version. Combo differently. Yeah, whatever. Searing Slam. All right, so big PvE buffs. Holy shit. Projection, cross cut, Searing Slam, one step back. Oh my god, bro. Holy shit. Fix the issue where the frontal guard buff while performing form two would last drastically, drastically shorter than intended. Moose's PVE is up tremendous. Holy moly. All right, Valkyrie, nerf it again. Nerf it again. Hasaluto, change so you no longer stop performing the skill when colliding with terrain. I saw no problems with that. Why would you take that out of the game? Real talk, though, that's a big damage buff. I mean, that's a big buff. That's a dub. They should be able to mouse, mouse move the Hasti. That would be pretty... Honestly, that would probably be kind of broken. They'd be able to, like, like, spin around you, like, three times. Doing, like, laps. Like, running in the 90s. Improved to combo into Sanctitas de Ancelar. That's the shift RMB, I think. With the jump. Okay. All right. Striker. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Awakening Striker. Big PvE buffs. Huge PvE buffs for Awakening Striker on Skullcrush. That's like the primary skill. 
Tag my barter alt to my main character to fire the uh, cannon for the quest. And now I can't untag because I need to get the store to XP. Oh, shit. <laughs> you might want to just put in a support ticket on that. <laughs> oh, God. F. Rampaging Predator. It's a little jumpy thingy. Massive PvE buff again. I don't understand why Striker is getting buffs, bro. Well, the other, like, the Succession Draconia, although they got buffs last batch, still in a worse spot. Awakening Mystic, still in a worse spot. Awakening Corsair, still in a worse spot. Honestly, pick a class. Yeah, so, uh, Awakening Striker, massive, massive uh, buffs to your PvE on Skull Crusher, Rampaging Predator, Bite Off, and Echo Spirit. Uh, also, Ultimate Crush, Autumn Blaze, uh, and Savage Somersault. So basically, the entire Striker kit got buffed by at least 10 to 20% uh, across the board in overall damage, it looks like, um, in PvE. Okay, well, that's just all right then. Um, Kuno. <laughs> Get out of here with that kind of talk. On to the Novas. Change that Thornwood guard, guard would reappear near Nova after a certain period of time without the need uh, of performing the, the command skill if they had disappeared during a combo. Okay, that's good. That's massive, because that was a big problem with Nova before. That should have been changed forever ago. <laughs> Fix the issue where the Thornwood Guard would not appear. Okay, we just talked about that. Fix the issue where the last attacks would be a bound instead of a knockdown. Fix the issue where you couldn't perform the skill if you were too low on stamina. Uh, fix the issue um, where skill add-on effects... Would not be applied. Holy shit. Skill add-ons were actually just not fucking working. Oh. Succession Drick. Oh. Pog. Pause champ. Pause champ, boys. Succession Draconia saw her utilization of Mark the Thlon scale uh, to strengthen her tanking capabilities uh, and deal damage to ion output, making her a notable force in large-scale matchups. Hence, we've adjusted Prime Brimbold Strike and Prime Marthanon's Flur Flourish by slightly lowering her PvP damage, but retaining her playstyle. On the other hand, Prime Marthenon's Dominion was somewhat iffy to use in PvE situations, so he added some Ion Recovery effects, as well as changing some aspects of how skills dealt damage as well. We also improved Prime Ascent's PvE damage to compensate uh, for its somewhat long cast time. So they nerfed Draconia in PvP, but they're trying to buff it in PvE. They're, they're trying to conceal it, boys. You're getting turboed. Fix the issue where additional ions were not stockpiled. That's always good when the skill hasn't been working since release like seven months ago. Um, fix the issue where you would also cleanse movement attack and cast speed reduction debuffs on allies nearby when starting to perform... Excuse me? What? Fix the issue where you would also cleanse movement, attack, and cast speed reduction debuffs on allies when performing Brimbolt Strike and Mark the Nons Flourish. Motherfucker, what? How long has this been going on? You will... <laughs> what the... You will still cleanse the movement attack and cast speed reduction debuffs on allies when stockpiling ions as before. Oh, well, thank God. That's... What the fuck? This is just like when they were like, yeah, we removed the human damage skill add-on from uh, dramatically affecting your PvE rotation. And we were like, hold up. What? Like, apparently that had been going on forever. We had no idea. No one ever thought to test it. Bro, what the fuck? Fix the issue where additional ions weren't stockpiled after cleansing uh, the reduction debuffs while stockpiling ions. So it just nothing was working correctly. That's awesome. Sweet. Change the damage reduction in PvP. Holy fucking tits. Holy shit. That is a fucking hammer of a nerf right there. 
quickie to 10% nerf, just bam. Oh my God. Holy shit. That's one of her primary skills, man. Just tick 10% right off the top. Uh, added the effect to stockpile three items, uh, three ions in your shard on inner attack hits. Change the uh, hit attempts and attack damage. Holy shit. Region. That is probably that region. Why, why, why you got Why you gotta use that language with me? Why you gotta? Why do you gotta? Why you gotta use that language with me? Change the damage of the following skills. Oh Jesus. Oh sweet merciful. Oh, okay, this is just the PVE buffs. Okay, so like, these are actually pretty significant buffs. All right, so you're getting a bunch of PVE buffs for sure. But you got you got pretty dicked on in PVP, so it's okay. Witch buff, get the fuck out of here. Woosa, honestly, like, the days since last fuck-up calendar at Pearl Abyss, um, when touching Witch has gotten over, like, 55 days now. And so, to be honest with you, the class functions better when they just leave it alone. So, like, I would rather them just not touch my class. That'd be great. Um, upon learning prime quiet waters, the succession Wusha could utilize the summon storm cloud, uh, to stack magic DP reduction debuffs up to three times. This enabled Wusa to deal high damage while, uh, while safely protected by defensive effects, such as forward guard, making her an efficient class suited for PVE. However, we felt her debuff stacking capabilities made it a bit too efficient, especially for dealing greater damage with less than the recommended AP for higher monster zones, so we made her only able to stack up to two DP reduction debuffs for PvE only. Okay, that's deserved. Yeah. S suck our fucking nuts. All right. <laughs> you guys all enjoy that. All right. There's a tag event going on. Don't worry, boys. Um, content's great ocean. Okay. Crafting a furious sailboat. And frigate licenses. Uh, having built countless a furious sailboats and frigate shipyards, uh, have developed a more efficient means of building these ships with less materials. Okay. So now, uh, my boat guide is out. That's awesome. I'm so fucking glad that I literally just made that guide. Uh, and then they decided to, to change... Uh, all of the shit that's fucking required. Uh, effectively changing how you should go about doing this. So awesome. Thank you uh, for that. Just um, everybody just go ahead and. Uh, go ahead and watch that for the last time. Um, it is outdated as of like fucking 24 hours ago. God damn it. If any of the licenses above are being. I hate these people. I hate them. Yeah, they made it way easier to make the sailboat and the frigate, which is actually amazing. Yeah, they have to, uh, like, half or less than half, all of it. Yeah, this is way better now. This makes it way easier to get into boat stuff, and then the bartering mats are, like, way lighter. The, turning the T1 mats in is way easier. It's just, it's objectively, like, way easier to get into ocean content now. It's way easier to get up to, like, 3K barters. Like... If you guys are interested in ocean content, yeah, after this patch, uh, for sure. Oh, RBF. Uh, this is where the PA... Okay, so now you're going to get PA automatically when you spawn in because people are too stupid to talk to the NPC and hit R twice. Um, and you're also going to not be able... To, uh, you're not going to be able to camp the spawn anymore in the RBF uh, Valencia City locations. Uh, and they changed the starting location. Awesome. Yeah, this was on the Global Labs before. All right. Improved so that Secret Songs now stack in one inventory slot. Thank you for that change that should have happened six, five, four and a half years ago. Thank you for that. Added information how to obtain Secret Song. Added defeat. Dekia's Lantern owns value as one of the obtainable items of the Jewel of Illusion item description. What is a... I don't even know what a Jewel of Illusion is. Is that something for your Dekia's Lantern? Thank God I have like 40 of the... <laughs> In preparation, in preparation for a future update, the following register the center market removed out of your warehouse. Khan's heart. 
people made cons hearts of destruction and protection hello sir oh no they built the wrong one when, for those of you that don't know when you get cons like concentrated magic you only make the life stone only ever make the light you don't ever make the destruction of the protection oh jesus okay to temporarily remove miramok often destroyer from spawning suck my nuts um you filthy filthy feather spamming losers yeah we understand that we introduced way too many uh feathers to the game uh and we just wanted to remove it we just removed the boss entirely having detected irregularities in their construction often ted has taken the ancient weapon uh to some elemental repairs in the miramok test so something's wrong with often that they actually had to take it down okay all right here's the flag has been used in many ways okay so this is the flag changes now you can rip up your own flag you can literally remove your own flag now and move it and this is actually a massive change for node wars and siege this is crazy good so you're not stuck on a bad flag you know what i mean or like if you're hitting a new target you can just move it on your own this is pretty crazy uh inner and outer gates so basically now when you're sieging uh castle guilds can no longer be included in any fights whatsoever because when you take a gate um no one can actually spawn at that gate anymore you have to spawn outside the castle and run in no matter how many gates you have dead so you effectively just like actually can't take the castle ever for any reason unless you're zerging them which is why castle owners must be uh zerged out now I don't know what the reason was for this change. They need to remove castles from the game and just super buff um, the defending guilds um, just fort. You know what I mean? With like castle walls that are like way harder to siege or taller or like maybe give them extra watches, give them extra structures and stuff. You know what I mean? Like the, we, no one likes sieging castles. Um, Two seaters now shift R because people would literally leave their horse intentionally in front of the supply depot and we would all accidentally mount the back of their doom horse. Uh, so now shift R is the way that you get on two seater mounts, boys. This is a win. This is a big win. Should have happened forever ago. Thank goodness. Thank you, GM Blackstar, uh, for pushing that through. I have no idea. I just pick, I usually, I just pick one of the CMs at random. Etsu, good job, buddy. Um, improve the dialogue with the war vendors for the first time, having learned their knowledge. No one gives a shit. Does anyone fucking actually read? You just talk to the end. Get rid of the question mark. Moved the location of... near the entrance of the bridge of the empty space near Odalita. I don't know what that means. I assume this has something to do with the infinite pot, as it's Odor. Okay. Alright. Improved most picked adventures. Try yeah, fuck that. Improve the worker list to be colored by their grades. Okay. Change the load screen image. Oh, can't wait to see that. Hopefully it's some thick uh, ranger. Improve the newbie inventory uh, to open together with inventory. That's big change for the newbies there. Big change for the new boys. Uh, change the input cursor. Uh, to be active when registering pets. Awesome. Okay, improve the cutscene UI to be usable with enter space. Okay. Improve the text shown uh, when trying to log off with a tag character uh, that has not collected EXP. Oh, yeah, I forgot your tag gets all the EXP now. Okay, at Thera Fox. Yo, chill, chill. Uh, officer, that one right there. That's your man. Okay. Um, improve so you can check the total playtime by family when using the gamepad UI, okay? Uh, expanded the player limit for reconnect, uh, reconnections for Asia No War. Okay, this isn't uh, us. Okay, sure. Some of this is just SEA stuff because we don't have the crossplay uh, stuff. tragedy every patch i always look at the bug fixes to see if they fix the hair on the uh, orzeka set for which and every time i am thoroughly disappointed that it never happens okay boys let's see the pearl shop thickness update boys thickness updates let's see it pearl shop this is the important part okay september 26 update let's see it. new items in the pearl shop boys all right let's 
She looks like a prude. That's awesome. All right, new outfit, boys. Oh, pearl box. All right. Unless it's a 60 plus 60, we don't care. New outfit. Lothra Khan. I don't... I'm not really digging the shoulder pads. Like, I'm not really sure what the idea there was. It kind of looks weird and poofy. And, like, the helmet... The helmet's pretty cool, though. What? Where's the rest of them? Wait, there's no more? Wait, like, where's the picture? Bro, they do such a bad job of featuring this stuff. Fortunately, I have Taiku here. Uh, this is what it looks like on Guardian. Again, I don't... It looks really cool. The only problem I have is, like, what is that, dude? Like, what? Yeah, see, that's, like, super badass. Just get rid of those... Sh Maybe if you just hide the cape, boys. We hide the cape and the shoulder pads go away. Copium. It kind of looks like the Black Star armor, but you paid for it. I'm not... Doesn't that look like the Black Star armor? Is that a hand on the... Oh, shut up. It's not a hand. It is a four-fingered Neanderthal. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Well, the Nova looks... Yeah, that one looks really fucking cool. If you get rid of the... Sh if the if the hide cape feature gets rid of the shoulder pads, the Nova one's pretty sick. Also, it looks like you're... Uh, appreciating, uh, respecting, uh, of course, uh, her personality. Choice type. Fuck, she's hot. All right, and Valkyrie gets it too. It kind of looks like the new Varicant meets the Black Star armor. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're respecting. That's right, Nikki. That's right. Okay, yeah. There's the. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure what what class is that. Valkyrie. Yeah, it's Valkyrie. Yeah, the weapons look sick. The weapons look really cool. All right, what's this? Wait, that's not it. Is it this one? That's the bears. All right, just give me it. I've lost it. Oh, there it is. Okay, boys. Look at those wet. Look at that Valkyrie shield. Shit, you're all by it, bro. The awakening weapon is juiced. That looks sick. Hell yeah, bro. That looks so juiced. Okay, yeah, the Guardian. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you gotta have that. This dub. Mm-hmm. Honestly, they can't help sexualize their armor. It's actually silly. Armors don't need boot bumps. Despins. <laughs> are you a communist? I, which team are you playing for here, buddy? Like, what? Come on, man. These are our people. You can't take this away from us. We need this. If they want my money, they do. Lane got so excited he forgot how to English. Oh, shit. Look at... Man. I just want to respect the shit out of that woman. You know what I mean? You ever looked at something? Man. <sighs> so much respect. So much respect. Honestly, the back actually doesn't look bad at all. So. Oh wow, they got the close up on the on the weapons here. The Nova Shield, that's the mace right there. The Nova Shield, god, that shit looks juiced. Wow. That looks so well done. Like the art on that is so sick. And then you have like the dragons up top, man. It almost makes me want to play Nova. Almost. Okay, you said you guys said that you saw fingers on the boobs and now I can't unsee it. I'm trying to eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. Oh my god, they Oof, look at that draconia whip. Sure. Ah, damn. 
flowers buying the shit out of this. Maybe not. Maybe he just gets the outfit. Maybe he just gets the outfit, bro. Yep, only buying the weapons. It's all right. That's what we have the preview here for. That's what we're here for. All right. So now, okay. So it looks like they have a pearl shop, on, uh, like our pearl box on sale. Where's my? There is power button. My my headset turned off. Okay, I'm I'm too zoomed in. I'm like a, I'm like an old fart. There we go. Oh my! Now I can't see shit. Not. What do you mean that's 110%, bro? What the fuck is this shit? I can't read what you type in size 6 font? Holy shit! Uh, for a class attack for PvP, are there any good all-rounders? Uh, Omniholic, I recommend uh, my Choose Your Class Guide series. I have a, a video for every single class in the game. It goes through each of their specs, shows you how easy they are, like, like APM wise, how easy they are to get into, how high, their, how high their skill ceiling is. I briefly discuss a little bit of PVE, but I kind of stay away from it. But like, there's a lot of good all around classes. Um, all right. Outfit summer blowout. Sweet. Or I guess fall blowout, huh? Yeah, so sale. We don't really know if we're going to get the same sales and stuff, but it does look like we're going to get the new outfit, uh, which is the highlight. And then if we get a one plus one pearl box, boys, you know we're all in on that shit. You know we're all in on that shit. Get this tamer out of here, bro. What the hell's going on with that? Okay. There we go. And that's the wrap on the patch note rundown right there.